Hi. Well, last Sunday I went to a firearms auction and I made quite a score there. Five Old Smith & Wesson revolvers. And they're in very good condition here. It was one of those auctions where they were trying to sell too much at once and uh, a lot of stuff didn't bring a whole lot. And I got a pretty good deal on these. And four of the five are even uh, pre-World War II. And the fifth one is close to being uh, pre-World War II. The newest one of the bunch is probably the one that's in the in the least condition which is this one here this one was made in the late forties Smith and Wesson military and police 38 special See if we can get these markings to show up here there's a serial number and this one here is a for its age, it's in pretty good condition, but uh, compared to the others, uh, the others are are outstanding. Like I said, this is the newest one of the bunch. And when I get a chance, I'll be doing individual videos with each one of these. Get them out and do some shooting with them. And this one here, this little nickel-plated one here, is a um, Smith & Wesson uh, 32 hand ejector. And it dates from 1906, which would make it a, a model of 1902, I believe. Uh, first change see if we can get all the markings to show up now for a gun that's a hundred and six years old it's in really nice shape Of course, all of these are six shot revolvers. Now, this next one here is a third model 32 hand ejector, which was made in the late 30s. And this is essentially just a new gun. It hardly even has a turn line on the cylinder. I'm not sure that this gun has ever been fired. Now where the Nickel uh, 32 had a four and a quarter inch barrel, this one has a three and a quarter inch barrel. Just essentially a new gun from the late 30s. Now the next one is a late 30s military and police 38 K frame. Essentially just like the other one with the 5 inch barrel here except it's a little bit older and in better condition. This one here isn't quite uh, what you'd call brand new, but uh, pretty good. It's got a little bit of holster wear on it. For its age, it's just outstanding. It just don't get much better than that on gun this old. Now the fifth one here is a late 30s uh, military and police, except this one is chambered in 3220. 
has a six inch barrel see if we can get all the markings to show up here there it's focused in a little better Thirty-two twenty, and this one has just a touch of holster wear for its age just it's outstanding for its age but I just wanted to do a quick video to show these off before uh, I went and tried to do individual videos with them. I don't know when I'll get a chance to get out and do some shooting with them. But I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for Junior DeGaulle. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. If you get a little free time, go check out his channel. Thanks for watching.